Swag Media Day was the other day, and I can easily say this year was a lot better than last year. As far as JSU goes, Coach Prime was on the stage with his son Shadur and Travis Hunter. The conversations were cool, and the responses were good as well. The big thing that got my attention was that their top recruit, Travis Hunter, was wearing a boot. Is Jackson State hiding something? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Reggie from HBCU Spotlight, and I'm back with another banger. As you can see, 87% of the channel's viewers are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you will be alerted anytime that I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. For those of you who live under a rock and may not be familiar with who he is, Travis Hunter was the number one overall recruit in the most recent recruiting class. He plays both wide receiver and defensive back and plans on playing both ways in college as well. He's from the outskirts of Atlanta, a city known as Swanee, Georgia, where Hunter attended Collins Hill High School. Fun fact, this is the same school that UConn legend and WNBA star Maya Moore attended. In high school, he accounted for over 100 tackles, 19 interceptions, and nearly, get this, 4,000 receiving yards to go along with 48 receiving touchdowns. Spotlight, what are you talking about, man? Get to the point. I am, I am. Wait a minute. What if I told you that Florida State dodged a bullet by not signing Travis Hunter? I'm not going to tell you what to think. But Travis Hunter being in the boot for Swag Media Day is not a new thing. He actually has a history of injuries dating back to high school. Huh? In his senior year, he tweeted this photo to go along with his caption. I'm going to be okay. Say a quick prayer for me. End quote. According to the Gwinnett Daily Post, Hunter suffered an ankle injury on Friday night during the first quarter of his high school's 63-0 victory over Peachtree Ridge and did not return. The report went on to say that Hunter caught a lateral and cut back to gain more yards and went down in a pile of defensive players when he got hurt. Hunter was then helped off the field and could not put any weight on his right leg. Hunter's coach, Lenny Gregory, told the Gwinnett Daily Post that Travis was still being evaluated and that surgery was not needed. Fast forward to present day, and the same thing is happening. I know I wasn't the only one that noticed that the JSU stars had an unexpected guest on the stage. The big old Kanye West boot, Travis Hunter was sporting. Travis went on to tell reporters at Swipe Media Day that he was wearing the boot due to a high ankle sprain. Hmm, sound familiar, doesn't it? It is unclear to the public how exactly he sprained his ankle, but neither Travis nor the training staff foresee him missing any time due to this injury. I'm wishing him the best, and I think he'll dominate. But this is something that we need to look out for. Thanks for watching the video. If you made it to the end, type in get well soon Travis in the comment section. I wanna hear from y'all. What do you think about this injury? And do you foresee him having issues in the future going forward? As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We on the road to 10K. From us, over here at HBCU Spotlight, rooting for you, Travis, and looking forward to seeing you shine on the field. We out of here. Peace.